Hello everyone, I'm Beth Ettinger from Ettinger Tech and this series of videos addresses different technology, obstacles at everyday law firms and our thoughts on how to overcome them. First, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the little notification bell for more videos on Law Firm Technology Talk. In this video we're going to talk about the seventh obstacle common to many law firms. You may ask what fish bones have to do with a law firm or problem solving, but let's take a look at some effective problem solving. Let me ask you this, have you ever tried to solve an issue, fix one problem and created another? This is a result of an incomplete look at the problem in the beginning. Looking at things the same way and addressing them the same way only gets you more of the same. A thorough look into the root cause and solutions are the key to making improvements and solving problems. So let's draw a fishbone. The head is the problem that you're looking to solve. This may be anything that's causing issues in your firm. The backbone will lead you to the root cause of the issue. Each of the ribs guide you to dig into causes that contribute to make the problem what it is and also to the solution. The ribs for most issues are these six. Technology, people, environment, process, materials, and management. Each of these things contribute to the problem and to the solution. The trick is to finding the combination and their contributions, correcting that, and building the solution. So let's look at a real issue and make it fit in your daily life. Unproductive follow-ups are an often frustrating problem. Looking into ways to have more productive follow-ups require looking at why they're unproductive in the first place. We need to look at finding what each rib contributes to the issue. Maybe your process is inconsistent. Maybe your technology is not providing you automation to help with the consistency in your process. Maybe the materials you're sending out have an inconsistent message or they're missing a call to action. Maybe your people are managing their task inconsistently and contributing to all the rest. Maybe the type of delivery is missing your audience and maybe your management isn't providing support to improving any of these things. There may be one, none, or many branches off these main ribs. The key is to thoroughly investigate each one to find out what they contribute or lack contribution. Then you can find a way to switch that to a constructive solution. You can look at your process and find the inconsistencies in it. Then look at the technology and the automation or lack thereof. Take a good look at the materials you're sending out. Do they have value to the person receiving them? Do you have scripts for the phone calls so the message is the same? Talk to the people that are handling the follow-ups. Are they managing them appropriately? Do they need help managing their task? Is your method of delivery appropriate? We live in an ever-increasing digital world. Are we delivering messages in that world? Or are we still using carrier pigeons? Does your management support the improvements? Can you speak freely about ideas? Then you start to focus on each rib. Put a plan in place to improve each rib's contribution and turn it positive. So why does this work? And by the way, the diagram and problem solving techniques has been used across many processes and in manufacturing for many years with great success. It works because it lays out the whole picture. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people ask why law firms follow ups are inconsistent and they don't have an answer. Then they change something. Maybe that'll add an automation or change the delivery. They see a little boost and they get all excited because it may process and it's short lived because it was only part of the issue that they were trying to solve. Laying out the problem completely is half the job of solving it. Now I want to warn you, it's really easy to start down this path and run into a glaring issue and stop and solve it. Don't do that. Well, do that, but then keep going. <laughs> Go through the whole exercise. It's painful, but worth it. I've worked the fishbone diagram and quality issue in manufacturing, and it appeared the issue was one thing. But we worked through the whole thing and found out it was simply a communication issue. Well, I say simply, 
but it was a lot of communication that was missing between plants and separate processes within both plants. It took digging into every rib and their contribution to the process to find that. So how do we do it? We draw it out. Dig into it. Lay it all out. Don't worry about it being perfect. Don't worry about missing something. Get it on paper, a whiteboard, a screen. Just get it laid out somewhere. And then talk it out. Talk through all of it with everyone involved, even those you don't think contribute much to the problem or the solution. They may know something you missed. Your janitor may tell you that the mail bin you set out on Friday doesn't get picked up till Monday afternoon because the building's locked for the weekend. When you arrive at the changes and shifts that need to be made, try it out. Test it out. Put it in place and audit it. Check back in with people, track the automations, record the progress. You've now made progress, but don't stop there. Keep working on it. Auditing is part of it to make sure it doesn't slide back, but looking at improvements in every area is also important in moving forward. Henry Ford didn't stop when he created the quadricycle. He kept building on that model, and auto manufacturers are still building on the subsequent models. If you want to talk about the role technology plays in your fish bones or need specific help with any of the fish bones, absolutely schedule a free discovery meeting with us. We'd love to hear about your weaknesses, strengths, problems you're solving, and goals for the future, and help you use technology to support you in improving all aspects of your firm. We're certified with Lawmatics, Clio, and Action Step legal databases. In the next video in this series, John will talk about marketing your firm for free. He will discuss creating a culture of referrals and how to manage all of that with technology. You don't want to miss that one, so watch for the email with the link coming up. I hope you found this to be a good use of a few minutes of your time. And again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our Tech Talk videos. Take care till next time.